during an active productive time, mm -hmm. then you, that, that, that argument will not even arise at all. Okay. Now, the final bill we'll talk about is one which you have vehemently opposed to. That's the anti-gay bill. <laughs> well, that is quite incorrect to say vehemently opposed. <laughs> Because I was a, I mean, a chairman, a deputy ranking member of the Constitutional League and Parliamentary Affairs Committee. Mm -hmm. That recommended the passage. So how do you vehemently oppose and recommend but its you, passage? You say the, 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 the provisions in that bill are too draconian. Well, I haven't said that. Unless you can, if you can, if you have... So uh, you, uh, you, uh, you agree, you that, a, you, you uh, agree listen, that the bill be passed? Absolutely. But we recommended the passage of the bill. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, but you say that uh, gays going to prison, for instance, is not the best. I think that, you know, these are very contentious matters, and I try not to have conversation about them because okay. many people simply tend to misunderstand these conversations. And that is why I will leave it at only one point. Mm -hmm. The country has spoken. A law has passed. It's before the president for assent. We are waiting for Ronaldo to assent to the bill. Okay. Then we implement it. So you, you'd, you'd absolutely agree with whatever he decides? To he do. should sign the bill and let us implement the bill. Yeah, very interesting. I mean, for a human rights lawyer. But uh, you're still listening to Start today, and the program is The Campaign Trail. It is streaming live on Facebook on Star 103.5 FM. And of course, you can join us with your thoughts and comments on 055-288-0216. Francis, let's talk about your constituency. Uh, as a first-time MP, how has it been for you? I think it's been very interesting uh, because um, I came from the background of activism, um, human rights activism mm -hmm. for that matter, been to all kinds of prisons, done justice for all programs, litigating from district court all the way to Supreme Court uh, in respect of people's rights and trying to stand out for people, particularly the most vulnerable. Um, and then found myself in politics mm -hmm. where now I have to translate all the things that I used to do as an activist right. into my political space. And in fact, I would say that that was part of the reasons why I have led a number of private members' bills. Mm -hmm. Because I've been to those condemned cells and seen how people struggle. That's the reason why I was passionate about the need for us to abolish death penalty. Mm -hmm. I've seen how women have, are so vulnerable when they're accused of being witches. That's why I led the way that we can pass the anti-witchcraft um, bill. I've seen women, in fact, I've, seen, I've, I've been a lawyer to many victims of sexual violation, some of them 12 years, three, uh, 13 years, and um, uh, they, they, sometimes they don't even have money to, to pay for medical uh, forms, and for which reason, uh, because they don't have money to pay for those medical forms, they are denied justice, and so on and so forth. So it's part of the reason why I brought a bill mm. to add those conditions to uh, what we now call the National Health Insurance Scheme, and so on and so forth. So I think that from activism coming to the table of policy, the things that I believe in, in what I'm pushing now in, in, in Parliament. Now 